Hey guys, welcome to your 45 minute total body strength class. My name is Brittany and for today's class, all you need is two weights and a mat. If you don't have weights, that's okay. You can use water bottles, cans, whatever you can find at home. Otherwise you can just use your body weight. They're always optional. Feel free to add them in, take them out anytime throughout the workout. Today's workout is going to be a Tabata style. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of pulsing in that exercise. So it's just a little movement. That's why I have a little bit lighter weights, mine are fives. And then we have a 20 second rest. So it's eight exercises. We're going through each one for three rounds. So we're burning out that muscle group before we move on to the next exercise. Like I said, it's total body. So if you do have weights, grab something that you can use for everything. Otherwise, give yourself some options between upper and lower body. Make sure you have some space around you, some water to grab onto nearby whenever you need it, and take breaks whenever you need it. Remember, this is your workout, so have fun with it. Play some music in the background, and let's get it. We'll start with a warm-up, arms up, let's march twice, and then hip opener. March twice, and hip opener to each side. Good, march, march, and open, open. Flex those feet here. Bring your knees up to your chest on that march and engage your core. So grow tall. Good. Give me one more. Awesome. Keep those feet out about hip width apart, maybe shoulder width, toes point forward. Let's find a squat and lift. Just a little squat to start. Getting those legs warm, keeping that chest up, weight in your heels for four more. Three, good work, two, and one. Hold it up here, arms out like a T. Reach opposite hand for your foot. Good work, if you need to widen the distance between your feet, feel free to do so. Little pause at the top, maybe a squeeze of your glutes to get extra warm. Good work, give me one more each side. Awesome, then bring those feet together. We're gonna bring it into a reverse lunge. Come back up, other side, alternate. We're gonna be doing some of these motions with our weights today if you do have them. So we're just getting nice and warm here, taking it at your pace. Good work, give me one more each side. Awesome, then step it back to the end of your mat. Let's take a roll down from the crown of your shoulders, the crown of your head through your shoulders, all the way down, reach for those toes, then walk it out, find your plank. Good work from here, slowly walk back up and reach for the sky. Getting a big stretch in that spine here, in the backs of those legs, walk it out. Maybe drop to your knees. Just hold your plank for a moment and then walk back up. Get that core warm. Good work. Give me one more. Good. Holding it here just for an extra moment. Good work. Just three, two, one. Walk back up. Awesome job, you guys. Grab onto those weights if you do have them. Our first exercise is going to be a combination between a curtsy lunge and a hammer curl. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. I'm going to get our timer going here. So like I said, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of pulsing is what we're going to start with here. So bring those hands down by your sides, palms face in, curtsy lunge as you hammer curl. Come back together and alternate sides, making sure that both knees are still pointed forward here as you come down into that lunge, right? So that front knee doesn't open out to the side. It's still staying forward, even though we're bringing that back foot to a diagonal. Good, in 15 seconds, I want you to hold whatever side you're on, and we're just gonna pulse it out in that lunge. Just a tiny lift and lower. And we're gonna try to remember which side you're on so we do the other side next time. Three, two, one, hold it. Pulse, just 20 seconds of a little lift and lower in that lunge. You can also pulse those arms here just for 10 more seconds. 
Remember which side you were on. We're gonna go back to that full range exercise, then we'll pulse the other side. Three, two, one. You have a 20 second break. All right, so we're gonna go through that again. Two more times, and then that's it for this exercise. We'll go back through your curtsy lunge, hammer curl, and make sure you pulse on that other side. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Lunge and curl it in. Awesome job, you guys, keeping those palms facing towards each other as you lift the hands up to your shoulders. I want you to focus on your weight in your front heel. So you're pushing up through that front standing glute. Good, maybe get an inch lower if you can. If you don't have weights today and you don't wanna add this arm motion, you can bring those hands to your hips. Get ready to pulse the other side. Three, two, one, pulse here, pulse. Tiny lift and lower, little movement. Good work. Getting as low as you can. I want you to challenge yourself today. Eight seconds here. We take a 20 second rest in three, two, one. Stand it up, good work you guys. Shake it out, grab water whenever you want. We're gonna go back through that same thing this time. We've already burned out both sides of our curtsy lunge pulse. We're just gonna pulse it right here in the center after those 40 seconds of work. Get ready, three, two, one, back to full range. Good, breathing through it. Since I don't have music today, I'm sure you guys can hear my breath nice and loud, or if you can't yet, you're going to. So I want you to breathe with me making every movement count. You're halfway through. And remember, we're just gonna stand and hold that hammer curl pulse right in the center in 10 seconds. Good work, keep those elbows glued to your sides. You're done in three, two, one. Hold it here, pulse, just 20 seconds. Your elbows are tucked tight and you're just lifting and lowering an inch from your thumbs. Squeeze those biceps, you should be burning it out. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, you guys. We have a 30 second break here. It's a little longer, so shake it out, grab water. Whatever you need to do before we move on to our next exercise. All right, so again, we're going through everything three times the first time through so that we don't have to do it again. So we just burned those biceps out, I hope. Burning out in your lunge, we're gonna get ready for a single leg deadlift. So pick up those weights if you have them, if not, hands on your hips. Right foot down, left foot back, hips square to the floor, let's go. So it's a little hip hinge as you lower those hands towards the floor. Keeping a tiny bend in that standing right knee. Good. We're gonna add an upright row here. Once you get that motion down, I want you to pull up with your elbows for that row. Good. Turning to my side so you can see a little better. I'm keeping that back flat and core engaged. If you wanna do this with both feet down, feel free. In three, we pulse that leg up. Two, one, hold it halfway. Just pulse your left leg up towards the sky. So turning again so you can see, you're just lifting and lowering an inch. Your torso is at about a 45 degree angle down towards the floor. You're done in three, two, one, rest. Good work, take a little breather. We're gonna switch it out to the other side. All right, so we're doing single leg here so that we can eventually on our last one just do both legs. If you want to do both legs this whole time, that's fine too. You don't have to switch it out to that single leg. Three, two, one. Left foot down, right foot back. Let's go. Good. Tiny bend in that standing knee. Keeping those hips square to the floor. Maybe gazing at something a couple feet in front of your toes to keep that balance strong. Good work, you guys. 
Start adding that upright row. Good. Elbows up. You have 10 seconds left here. Stay strong. We're going to pulse that right leg up to the sky in four, three, two, one. Hold it. Little pulses. Good work. Turning again so you can see that right heel is just lifting and lowering an inch to the ceiling. Core is still engaged. Back is still flat. You're under 10 seconds. We have our regular deadlift coming up. Both feet down in three, two, one. Take a breather, little rest. So with this next one, we're gonna do that upright row the whole time. So it's a little hip hinge back, then upright row on your way up. Stay slow, stay controlled, and make sure that this is all coming from your hips. It's just a back and forth motion. You're not lifting with your back. Let's go, lower. As you lift, bring those elbows up, hands under your chin. Lower and lift. If you have heavier weights available to you, this would be the time to use them. But again, you can do everything with body weight today. Even if you want to just bring those hands to your hips, it helps to bring your fingertips to your hip creases to feel that fold and make sure you're keeping that back flat. Good. Squeeze those glutes at the top. We're going to pulse your upright row in seven seconds. No more movement of those hips in three, two, one. Pulse it right here. Just elbows up and down. Squeeze those shoulders towards your ears. Good. Lift, lift. 10 seconds to go here. Feeling this burn on those shoulders and your upper back. Good work. We rest in three, two, one. Take a break. Good. Set those weights down if you want. Shake it out. Grab some water, towel off, whatever you gotta do. We have a reverse lunge coming up next, just like we did in our warm up, but we're gonna add a little fun to it. So one or two weights, no weights, always an option. We're gonna step your left foot back to start right foot forward. You still have 10 seconds, I'm just gonna show you. Reverse lunge, and then you're gonna twist opposite elbow to knee, then come back to center and alternate sides. Get ready, let's go. Twist and lift. Good, start on whatever side you want. We're gonna alternate here. Good job, you guys. Bringing those knees to about 90 degree angles. So I want that front knee to stay behind your toe. All right, so it's directly over your ankle, but it's not shifting forward. You're getting low with the back knee towards the floor for 10 more seconds. Then we hold on whatever side you're on. So pick a side, remember it, hold in three, two, one, pulse. So you're holding that oblique twist and you're just pulsing the legs up and down. Turning to my side so you can see a little better. 90 degree angles in those legs. Keep twisting to that side. Lunge pulse for three, two, one. Take a breather, little rest. All right, remember which side you just pulsed. We don't wanna do the same side twice. Bring those weights back to your chest if you have them. Otherwise, just hands to your chest if you don't have the weights. Alternate reverse lunges in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good, add that twist. So it's a lunge and twist. Good job. Remember you're twisting opposite elbow to knee and you're keeping that chest up to make sure we're not putting any pressure on those knees. Good, engage that core. You've got this, 15 seconds to go. Good, turning to my side so you can see a little better. We're going down to that 90 degree angle Hold the other side in three, two, one, pulse, pulse. Good, you're pulsing here for 15 more seconds. You're already five in. Good work. We have one more round of alternating lunges. Then we're gonna hold a squat pulse at the end. Four, three, two, one. Take a breather. Good job, you guys. All right, coming up, we have one more round of those alternating reverse lunges. 
When we come back up in the center after 40 seconds, we're just gonna pulse the squat for 20 seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, twist, lift. Good, get those elbows up there to make sure we're engaging that core. 30 seconds left here. Good job, you guys. Get that back knee an inch lower if you can. Remembering to place all of your weight in that front heel and drive through that standing leg. Good work. You have 10 seconds to go. We're gonna hold a standing squat and pulse in five seconds. Finish it out, even out those sides. Three, two, one. Pulse it here. Weights are still at your chest and your weight is still in your heels. So wiggle those toes, lift them up. Keep that chest lifted. You have less than 10 to go here. Good, final five. Three, two, one, 20 second rest. 30 second rest, sorry guys. Grab some water, towel off. I know, more rest is never a bad thing. All right, we just have a few more exercises to go. Our next one is a squat with an overhead press. The overhead press is optional. If you don't have the weights, feel free to just do the squat. We're gonna start with those weights at your shoulders. Feet about shoulder width apart, toes point forward. Sink your hips back, find your squat, and then press those weights overhead. Good, little thruster action here. Staying strong through those shoulders and pressing back through the hips. Good. Awesome work. So again, it's 40 seconds of this squat press, and then we're gonna have 20 seconds of a shoulder press pulse. Switching a little bit of our work to our upper body. Shifting our focus just a little bit, making sure we're getting a full body workout. Hold that shoulder press in four, three, two, one. So right here, you're just pulsing up and down an inch. Elbows are in line with your shoulders. Good, weights are facing towards each other or just palms facing towards each other if you don't have weights today. Good, you should start to feel this burn. You're done in four. Three, two, one. Take a breather. Good, little rest. We're gonna go back through our squat overhead press, then shoulder pulse. Two more times coming up in eight seconds. Get ready for that squat and press in four, three, two, one. Sink your hips back, weight in your heels, drive overhead. Good work, engage that core. Nice job, guys. You're under 30 seconds here. If you have heavier weights and you want to switch it out, you always have that option. Challenge yourself today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a hotel room, so my weight options are a little limited. But it's okay. We work with what we have, right? Good job. Work with whatever you have. Whatever is available to you. Get an inch lower. You're done in four. Three, two, hold it. Pulse. Pulse, good, a tiny lift and lower. I know, my arms are already burning and they're only five pound weights. I'm sure they'd be burning with no weights. Keep it up, elbows right and long. Lift and lower just an inch for five. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, you guys. Let's go through that one more time. Squat overhead press, then shoulder press pulse. Take a break at any point. Grab some water, towel off, do what you gotta do. We're going in five seconds. Find that squat in three, two, one, let's go. Squat and press. Nice job, you guys. Is that core still engaged? Yes, it's still important here. Bring that belly button back to your back. Engaging that core, keeping that chest up. Good job. You're under 20 seconds, more than halfway there. We're holding that shoulder pulse in 15. Nice work, you guys. Stay with me for five, three, two, 
One, hold it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Time you lift and lower, framing your face with those forearms. Yes, I know you can. It's 10 seconds, then we're done with these shoulder pulses. Keep that core strong. You're done in three, two, one, rest. Good job, you guys, shake it out. Grab some water, you have 30 seconds to rest. Our next exercise is a windmill. So one weight, it can be heavy or light. You can do heavier on this one. And we're gonna bring those feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, so they're pretty wide, but your toes are still pointed forward. We're gonna start with that weight in your right hand, lift it up above your shoulder, and we're gonna lean to that left side. So just reach for that ankle, then drive back up. Try to keep your hips as still as possible. So it's just a lower of your torso and lifts. Join in whenever you're ready. And I want you to try and keep that weight still where it is. So keep it right above the shoulder and engage that core. Pull up through your side body and your oblique. Good work. Feeling this on that right side right here. Stabilize that weight right over your shoulder. We're gonna hold and pulse in five seconds. Three, two, one, hold it low, pulse. Just a tiny lift and lower. Reach an inch lower for that ankle. Lift an inch with your core. You've got this, 10 seconds to go, then we switch sides. I know this burns. You're almost there. You have four, three, two, one. Take a breather. Shake it out, we're gonna switch sides. Weight in your left hand, you still have 15 seconds to rest. So shake it out, do a little stretch, whatever you need to do. Switch that weight out to your left hand, we're leaning to your right side this time. Weight stabilizes right over that shoulder, keep your hips as still as possible. Let's go, lower, lift. Good, take this as slow as you want, guys. I know it can be difficult sometimes to slow down in our workouts. We sometimes feel like we have to be doing things as quickly as possible to get them done efficiently. That's not true. We can absolutely slow down and focus on the strength of our muscles. Focus on controlling them rather than just whipping through all the movements. Less than 10 to go. I want you to hold it low and pulse in four, Three, two, one. Pulse it out here. Reach that weight or adjust your hand right above your shoulder. I'm sure you're still feeling this, if, even if you don't have a weight. Lower an inch for six more seconds. We have a break coming up in three, two, one. Rest. Woo, I know. Shake it out. Circle out those shoulders. We're gonna alternate on this last round, okay? So last set of windmills. I want you to hold that weight above your right shoulder again. We're gonna reach in here, switch right overhead to the other side. I want you to take this slow. Join in here, your 40 seconds is going. Good work. So lots of core engagement. You should feel that core strength shift to your lower abdominals as you stand up and then over to your opposite oblique as you lower. Good work. In 20 seconds, we're gonna hold whatever side you're on. We're pulsing for 10, then we're switching, pulsing for 10, and that's it for this exercise. So finish it strong. Keep that weight right over those shoulders. Hold that side in three, two, one. Hold and pulse. It's just 10 seconds here. Less than we did last time, half the time in fact. Switch in three, two, one. Switch sides, right into it. Good, keep that core strong, hip bones pointed forward. You're done in three, two, one, rest. Good job you guys, shake it out. Set that weight to the side, you have about 25 more seconds to rest if you wanna open up those hips again. Take a stretch to that side. Grab a sip of water, whatever you need to do. Our next exercise is upper body. We are bent over in a standing position. Slight bend in your knees 
Pinch from your hips, engage your core. Palms are facing towards you, weights are down. We're gonna lift those elbows up and slow lower. Lift, lower. Good, so from here, elbows are lifting out to 90 degree angles. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and face the palms behind you. Good, stay hinged over, keeping that core strong. So if you're starting to feel this in your back, you can drop down onto your knees. Or you can always switch it out one arm at a time or drop down in weight or no weight at all. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. We pulse right here for 20 seconds. Tiny lift and lower. Woo! I know, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Almost like you're trying to pop a balloon in between your shoulders behind your back. You're done in six seconds. Stay with me. Three, two, one one rest good job shake it out roll out those shoulders we have a little break and we're doing that two more times you guys are almost to the finish line we've almost made it through this workout I want you to finish strong so find that same position feet about hip width apart knees bent hinge from your hips belly button to spine palms face to you let's go wide breath lower lift inhale lower exhale lift Good job, are you breathing? Nice job, you guys. Big pull through your shoulder blades. Squeeze those upper back muscles. Inhale, exhale. You're under 20 seconds. Nice work, you guys. We pulse in 10. Stay slow, stay controlled. This means you're controlling that lower down as well. Three, two, one, hold it here. We lift, 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 just an inch. I know this burns. If you need to drop those weights at any point, you always have that option. You're under 10 seconds right here. Give it all you've got. Nice job, you guys, done in three, two, one, lower down. Rest, shake it out. Circle out those shoulders to either direction. You have 15 more seconds until we start again. Last time through. All right, last round of our bent over wide rows. Find that bent knee position, engage your core, and let's go. Bring it out 90 degrees, slow lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Good job. Squeeze at the top, I know you can. Keep that gaze a few feet in front of your toes again, kind of like we, we did with that deadlift. We're making sure we're not gazing out the toes. This would mean you're putting a little more unnecessary tension in your neck, and I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to feel that pain after this. 10 seconds to go. We pulse it out to finish for 20 seconds. Going in five, three, two, one. Pulse it out here, finish strong with me. Good job, you guys. Keep that gaze, few feet in front of your toes, just lift and lower an inch. Tiny movements. I know it doesn't look too hard, but it's pretty hard, right? I'm right there with you. You're done in three, two, one, rest. Good job, set those weights to the side, circle out your arms. Either direction, you still have about 25 seconds to rest. We're moving on to our next exercise. All right, so we're gonna come down to the mat for the remainder of class. Yay, I know you've made it. We're gonna go ahead and meet on all fours. And I'm gonna give you the option, again, to add that weight if you want. You don't have to have it. So weight is in that right hand. We're gonna extend right arm, left leg, and lower down. Lift up, lower. Good work. So right here, you're pushing out of that, uh, that arm that's on the ground. So you're staying strong, almost like you're gonna do a push up with that arm. Don't worry, we're not going to. And just make sure that we're engaging your core, keeping your back flat. So you're not arching the back to get the arm and leg higher. You're just reaching long. We're gonna hold and pulse. I'm dropping my weight for my pulse. You can absolutely still hold it if you want. Hold it up, 20 seconds right here. Little lift and lower. 
Good job. Your palm is facing in on this pulse and you're squeezing that left glute. Flex those toes towards your shin. You have under five. Three, two, one, lower down. Take a rest. You can take a round of cat cow here if you want. Just a little stretch by arching your back down towards the mat and then up towards the ceiling. Good job, you guys. Get ready. Bring that weight to your other hand. If you had it, left arm, right leg in three, two, one. Let's go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good. Remember to flex those toes and you're reaching long more than you're lifting. Right. So that back is still staying flat. Core is still engaged. Nice work, you guys. You have 20 seconds here. Then we hold for a 20 second pulse. Is your back still staying flat? Good job. Keep those hips squared down towards the mat. We're not opening out to the side to get any higher. Five seconds here. Hold to pulse in three, two, one. Hold it up. Little lift, lift, lift. Good job. Squeeze that shoulder blade in towards your midline. Squeeze your glute to lift that leg. Good, pulling your heel towards your glute to activate your hamstring. Three, two, one, take a breather. Again, take a round of cat cow, circle out those wrists, shake out your hips, whatever you need to do. On this next one, I am setting my weight to the side. You can always grab back onto it if you want the extra challenge. We are gonna alternate sides here. So if you want the weight, have two available. Three, two, one, alternate sides, right arm, left leg, lower down, left arm, right leg, lower, lift, good, keep alternating sides, keeping your back flat to the mat, hip square, core engaged, reach long, you've got it 20 more seconds, we're going to hold one side and pulse for 10, then we'll switch to the other side, pulse for 10 to finish. You're almost there. Good. Reach long. Stay slow. Stay controlled. Resist all of those muscles. Three, two, one. Hold whatever side you're on and pulse for 10. Good work. Reach it long for three, two, one. Switch right into it. Good. Finish strong here. You're done in three, two, one and rest. Good job, you guys. Shake it out. Grab a sip of water. You have 25 more seconds to break here. And we're gonna go into a spidey plank next. So I'm gonna give you a couple options. I'll show you before we go into it. I want you to be on your hands either way, but you can be on your toes or your knees. So on your toes, you're right here, reaching your knee to your outside of your elbow. On your knees, it's the same thing. It's just a little smaller range of motion. Good, so join in wherever you wanna to be today. If you wanna be on your knees, that's perfectly fine. You're right here. If you wanna be on your toes, right here. Wherever you are, those hips are low, in line with your shoulders, hands right under your shoulders, and you're still pushing up out of that mat. So you're not sinking down into the shoulders. We're staying strong. Good, breathe through it. Are you breathing with me? Can you hear my breath? Probably, but I can't hear yours. So, good work, hold it, hold one side, pulse. Whatever side you're on, remember it. Put all your brain power on that right now. Try not to focus on this actual movement. You can drop it down to your knee if you want. Five seconds, three, Two, one, take a breather. We're gonna do that same thing again two more times, but remember which side you pulse on. We're gonna do the other side. Get ready, 10 seconds, and always feel free to switch in between the knee or the toe. If you'd rather challenge and then rest for a bit. Good, bring yourself up to that plank. Let's go. Alternate sides. Take it slow, control it. Do you remember which side you pulsed on last time? 
I hope you do. If not, guess. It's really okay. Good job. Outside of that elbow, step it back. If you're on your knees, remember those hips are still down, right? So your hips aren't up right here. You're still low to the mat. Good. Find that other side. Three, two, one. Pulse it out. Good work. Tiny in and out of that knee. Squeezing your side abdominals. I know you can. You're under 10. Good job, you guys. Stay uniform for what you did on the other side. Even it out. Three, two, one. Lower down. Take a stretch. We have one more round of spidey planks, you guys. This time for our pulse, we're not going to pulse. I know, happy news, right? We're just going to hold your plank in the center. All right, so find that spidey plank, toes or knees, last 40 seconds right here. Good, push up out of those hands, draw those shoulder blades away from each other. Good job, you guys. Keep that core strong. I know it burns, but you're almost done. No more planks after this, I promise. Good job, you guys. You're under 12 seconds. Get ready to hold that plank, toes or knees, in five. Three, two, one, hold. Good, just hold. It's only 15 more seconds. You can drop to those knees if you want, but stay in your plank. Otherwise, you can drop to your elbows, try to lift up onto your toes. Good job, hold it low. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Drop it down, stretch it out. Lifting up onto your hands or elbows. You have 20 more seconds to rest. So grab water, find your breath, towel off, and meet me on your back, on the mat. This is our last exercise of the day, you guys. We're gonna go through it and pulse it out. So we're gonna start actually seated. Bring your hands behind your thighs, lean back slightly. We're gonna lift up and lower down from here. So we're not going all the way onto the mat. We're just lifting your chest towards your knees. If you want the extra challenging option, lift your heels. Knees in, knees out. Wherever you are, those feet are flexed, toes to your shins. Hands are out at a hover. Or if you want some extra support for that low spine, you can grab behind those thighs. Good work. In five seconds, I want you to hold it down on your elbows. I'll show you what we're doing next. Three, two, one. One, lift your heels, tap your right heel, then tap your left heel. Good work, you're still rounding out that spine, so you have that C-curve in your spine to make sure we're engaging that core. Good, we're just alternating sides here. In five, we're gonna take a breather. Three, two, one. Good, lower back down onto your back, just take a big full body stretch. We have two more just like that, then you guys are done. You are almost out of here. We have a cool down coming up so soon. So remember your options here. You can keep your hands behind your knees. You can reach it long or you can lift those heels. Take whatever option you want today. You have 40 seconds. Go now. Good job. Good work. 20 more seconds left here. Then we're gonna drop back down onto those elbows. Are you breathing? Inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, remember your other options are right here. You can always drop those heels back down to the mat any point. Five seconds, drop your elbows to the mat. In three, two, one. Heels up, tap your right heel, then your left heel. Good job. Keep that back flat towards the mat, making sure we're reaching that belly button toward our spine. You have five seconds here. We'll stretch so soon, I promise. Three, two, one. Good work. Take a breather. 
reach arms and legs long, big stretch. You have 10 more seconds to rest. We go through this one more time and then we're cooling it down. Good job, you guys. Find that seated position. Lean back on your tailbone, C curve in your spine. You're either here, here, or here. Let's go. Good job. Last 30 seconds is right here. We have a 20 second pulse after this. That's less than a minute of work left for the day. Good job, you guys. Round out that back C curve in your spine to ensure that that core is engaged. We're protecting your low back. 12 seconds to go. Get ready to drop those elbows down and tap the heels to the mat. In seven seconds, three, two, one. Elbows down, heels up. Let's go. Final lower is here. We're stretching it out in 12 seconds. Finish strong. I know this is a hip flexor burner too. Trust me, I'm feeling it too, guys. Good. Focus on engaging that core. Belly button down to your spine. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest it out. Fingers and toes reach to opposite ends of the room. Take a big breath in. Let your rib cage expand. Exhale it out. Feel your belly deflate. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And flip it over onto your belly. Good work, you guys. Lift it up onto your elbows. Draw those shoulders down away from your ears. Just stretch into those abdominals here. If you're comfortable here and want to stretch a little further, lift up onto your hands. Wherever you are, keep those shoulders down. Maybe rock from side to side to get into those hip flexors. And gaze slowly from right to left to stretch your neck. Good job, you guys. Give me one more stretch to each side. Then bend those knees, meet me in all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, drop your belly to the mat, lift your gaze, open your chest, inhale. Exhale, round it under, chin to chest, to gaze towards your belly button. One more, inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. And exhale, round it under, chin to chest. Tuck those toes under, lift your hips, find downward facing dog. Pedal out those feet, stretching into the backs of your legs. Good. Go ahead and raise the right leg up towards the sky. It doesn't matter how high it gets, just as long as you feel that stretch. Then bring it through, finding your runner's lunge. So we're going to drop that back knee to the ground, untuck the back toes, and lean forward just an inch here. Stretching into this left hip flexor, maybe squeeze that glute to get a deeper stretch. Good work. From here, slowly leaning back, straightening out that right leg. Bring your toes towards your shin and bring your chest towards your thigh for a little hamstring stretch on that side. Good work. Coming back up, tuck those toes under. Feet meet in downward dog. Left leg rises and step it through. Find your lunge. Good work. Drop that back knee down. Untuck those toes. Squeeze the right glute to lean forward into your hip flexor stretch. Good job, you guys. This should feel really good on those hip flexors. Go ahead and take a slow lean back, straighten out that left leg. Toes towards your shin, chest towards your thigh. Hamstring stretch. Then slowly bring it back up. Tuck those toes back under. Send the leg back to downward dog. Walk your hands slowly back towards your toes. And just hang here for a second. So stretch it out, round out your spine. Let gravity take a hold of your head. And just maybe grab onto opposite elbows so you can sway yourself from side to side or front to back, whatever feels good to you here. Good job. Slowly drop those hands back onto the mat if you lifted them. Bend those knees, slow roll up one vertebra at a time. Head is last to lift. Roll those shoulders out. Bring one arm across your chest. Just a little shoulder stretch here. Press that shoulder down, circle out your wrist. And then shake those arms out, take it to the other side. Good work, shoulder down away from your ear, circle your wrist. Shake it out, big arm circles to finish up. Either direction, 
and take one final big breath with me. Inhale your arms up and exhale. Good work, you guys. You are all done. My name is Brittany. I hope to see you guys again next time. Make sure you stay hydrated today and I'll see you next week.